a final farewell for a brother. Elvir was only 15 when he was killed in the Srebrenica genocide in July 1995. So was his father and two of his brothers. One is still missing. In 2011, only a few of Elvir's remains were found. They were identified and we were waiting until this year in the hope that more would be found, but they weren't and we've decided to bury him now. Mirsadala saw her father 28 years ago. I lived here in Srebrenica. The last time I saw my father was on 8 July 1995. He came to visit me. This was the last time I saw him. And this is the first time I meet him again since then to say goodbye. Safet has waited since 2011 to bury some of the remains of his father. His hopes of finding the rest are fading. At least now I can come here to mourn him. It's a relief for me. Finally, I know where his remains are. I will know where he is buried. Thousands of people attended this commemorative funeral and helped bury the victims. Many were found in mass graves. The Bosnian Serb army and police forces killed them after the fall of Srebrenica on 11 July 95. It took them months to move their remains to other sites in an attempt to hide the atrocities. The International Court of Justice and the UN Court in The Hague ruled that what happened was a genocide. But the perpetrators and Bosnian Serb leaders denied that. I'm burying my father today. And they keep saying it did not happen. I feel very sad about it. This is very hard for me. More than 8,300 people were killed in the Srebrenica genocide in July 95. 1,000 are still missing. The vast majority of people who were killed in Srebrenica genocide in July 1995 were men and boys. However, there were dozens of women among them. Actually, the oldest victim of the genocide in Srebrenica was a woman who was 94 when she was killed. And this is the grave of the youngest victim a baby girl named Fatima, who lived only a couple of hours after she was born. Aida Hadjimosic, Al Jazeera, Srebrenica, Eastern Bosnia and Herzegovina.